Hi, I'm Taylor Hemnes here at Menorah Medical Center with Dr. David Anderson, an orthopedic surgeon here. Dr. Anderson, we're here to talk about your specialty today in orthopedic surgery. What's new in orthopedic surgery right now for people? Well, I'm a hip and knee surgeon, so I focus strictly on hip, hips and knees and look at joint replacement and joint preservation, how we can uh, make patients' lives better, particularly as they have hip and knee pain. Mm -hmm. uh, things that have advanced recently is what we're here to talk about today is some of the new tools we have available, such as the computer navigation and robotics. Uh, so let's talk about that, because yeah. we're going to go into one of the examination rooms here, because you've got a machine here that's specifically for this. Tell us about ROSA, what this machine does. Go on in, please. Yeah, Ro ROSA, this is uh, one of the first, I think, 10 in the country. Uh, ROSA is one of the newer technologies for robotic knee surgery. What we're able to do is get more precision and more accuracy. It gives the surgeon tremendous amounts of data to make that joint more natural feeling which historically has been something we've really been working on uh, to get make patients so they can feel more natural and forget they had a knee replacement. Where does skills of surgery and surgeon meet robotics? How do those two marry in the actual procedure? You nailed it. You still have to have a skilled surgeon. You yeah. still have to have a surgeon who has lots of reps under their belt. The training that goes into putting it, uh, the knee replacement in and understanding how a knee replacement works, that's still, that's still all surgeon. This again is just a tool that allows us to get incredibly more precise as we get a look at the three-dimensional anatomy. The addition, the benefit of ROSA is we also don't have to use CT scans. Mm -hmm. We don't use MRI or CT. This is all x-ray based. It gives us a three-dimensional view off of a two-dimensional x-ray because of the technology that's been available worldwide applied to this machine. Does it work just for the joints you're looking at or is it kind of all orthopedic areas? Can it work for different types of patients? So it actually started out, ROSA, this technology started out in brain and spine surgery. Really? And so now we're, you know, if it's good enough for the neurosurgeons, it, it, we think it's good enough for hips and knees, obviously. Right. But it's starting out with a knee technology. We're building this off the knee technology as that progresses over the next five to 10 years, it should move into other parts of the body. But right now we're focusing on, for my practice, knees. Is, is it a different kind of candidate or person that is this kind of patient's gonna see or is it really anybody who needs knee replacement could be a candidate for this? Again, this is just another tool. This, the criteria for knee replacement have not changed. Okay. The, what we can make better, what knee replacement is for is patients who have failed non-surgical management, the anti-inflammatories, the physical therapy, the steroid injections, etc. cetera. Uh, what, a, a knee replacement is for the patient who has painful joints, so joint pain, stiffness, and deformity, meaning they can't straighten their leg all the way out or bend it all the way back, or getting bow-legged or knock-kneed. And recovery is still gonna be the same based on what the, these, these new tools, or are they faster now than they used to be? The recovery uh, should be a bit quicker because all the work's done on the outside of the bone, we're not violating the inside of the bone with these types of technologies. Right. What you do is just part of what's being done here at, at, at Benora. There's a whole new unit being built for, for this kind of surgery, right? We do, we have a new joint replacement and spine center coming up. I think uh, 2020 is gonna be the, the final build date, I think yeah. uh, late, late 2020. That is gonna be a center dedicated completely to hips, knees, and spine. It allows to have uh, a very dedicated team just for those those specialties to make patients improve quicker, get them out of the hospital sooner and get them back to life normal. Right here in the Kansas City area coming up and one of the few places in the country that uses this particular kind of technology. We're one of the first here to do this. We're helping uh, get this up and running. We have a lot of experience behind this. We're, we're really excited about it. Perfect. Dr. Anderson, thank you so much for your time. Oh, thank you. For your health matters, I'm Taylor Hendis, 41 Action News.